And there's uh, Tank Davis. Tank Davis. Well, it's a southpaw. You got speed and power. Yeah, you need that. But I, I, you know, just like we can't find a Terrence Crawford, he can't find a Sean Porter to spar with. Right. So it's been great, but we came up here to raise it to another level. And for those out there who think you know there's a big weight class difference or whatever, we're low in weight. He's high in weight. We, you know. It's not like, you know, it's not like, you know, that Sean's going to be so much bigger than him. Sean's low on weight. You know, he's close to his fight weight. Hey, Sean, how you doing? Robert Griffin with GMT, the Red Quarter Box. Good to see Everybody's you. Everybody's trying to make this uh, the career-defining fight for Terrence Crawford. How are you taking this for you, for uh, Sean Porter? Because you've been in the biggest and you've been one of the most exciting fighters in the game. How are you, how are you really taking this just like Jimmy? Yeah, you know what? I'm taking it genuine. I'm genuine, genuinely. Yeah, yeah. I'm from, I'm from South No, 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 you good. No, you good. I was like, I didn't really realize I was saying I'm, I'm being genuine, but that's who I am as a person. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, my dad's talking about, we know that we're going to get a mean Terrence Crawford in the ring. We know that we're going to touch gloves at the beginning of it, before this fight starts, and then there's nothing in between it. That's just who he is, and we're, we're prepared for that. For me, this is, this is the fun side of it, you know what I mean? This is the side that you're supposed to enjoy. You're supposed to speak from your heart, say how you feel, so on and so forth. So it's easy for me, man. Um, this is a career-defining fight for him and, and myself. Uh, we're both, really, we are in our prime right now. You, this, is, this is a rare treat for, for the boxing world, you know, where uh, neither of us have been, in, have been hurt in the boxing ring. And you got two guys that are practically 100% getting in the ring against one another, and that's that's rare, right. you know, so uh, this is this is a big deal for both of us. Uh, I, I care if people shed more light on his side of it than they do on my side, I don't care. That fight, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I'm gonna win this fight. Sean, who is more, who is more dangerous? Uh, Sean, do you feel like Terrence's counter-punching is the, the biggest challenge in overcoming his style? Uh, you know what, I think that, um, my, 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 I think the number one side of my game plan is to take control to, uh, and to make him uh, react to what I need him to react to. Uh, take away that, that, that kind of punching ability that he has. He's a very good counter puncher. I don't know if people realize that about him, but he is. He's a really good counter puncher. Uh, but for me, it's to, uh, my number one game plan is to, uh, is to make him react and, and, not, and not allow him to take control of this fight. Hey, who is more dangerous, Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford? I believe that Terrence Crawford is more dangerous. Uh, remains to be seen, but um, both guys, I, I think, and felt at that point in time before I fought Errol that they were the, the best out there. I still feel that way. I feel that he's the next best. So I've taken on Errol, and now it's time for Terrence. Uh, there's a lot of respect, but you could define yourself like the most dangerous fighter for Crawford. Yeah, no, I am. I'm the most dangerous fighter for Crawford. Uh, I think one thing that people, you, you probably, I'm sure you've heard this, but don't really understand it. When we go into the ring, a part of us is always left in the ring. It's something you always hear. It's not always the case. It always depends on who you're fighting and how that fight goes. Anyone that gets in the ring with me does not leave that ring the same way that they entered the ring. Terrence Crawford is not going to be the same after he leaves the ring for fighting. What do you think of Canada 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 Should be a really great fight. I think that uh, Caleb's going to win the first half, and I think that um, uh, Canelo's going to have to make some, some adjustments. And then we'll see what happens. I do expect uh, Caleb Plank to win the first half of that fight. And then uh, the second, he's got to hold on. The second half is going to be no joke. A couple more, two is more, that two a, more. Is the incident at the press conference between them two and the cut and all that stuff? I don't want to talk Caleb Plank and uh, Canelo. Just two more about myself and Terrence Crawford. Yes, sir. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to meet Mr. Tommy, uh, Tommy Hearn. And you had said this uh, fight was an opportunity to be a, your Hearns Hagler ball. Are you promising us the fireworks that Hearns and Hagler was back in the 80s? I am. I am. I'm <laughs> promising y'all those fireworks. He not going he not gonna back up. All right. And and and, and so we it, it's gonna be a great fight. I think that in this fight we get a lot of people are they retreat.
when they get in the ring against Showtime Sean Porter. We're expecting him to, to, to retreat, but be right there at the same time. You know, so you're going to get some fireworks. You're definitely going to get fireworks. So one here, what did you uh, For me, I think that it's... Uh, Probably gonna answer for both of us. I think my dad is like, hey, follow the game plan, do this, everything that I, I tell you to do. We're gonna prepare you, make sure you're prepared. And I, I, he and I, and the entire team, feel like as long as I'm prepared, there's nobody in this world that can defeat me. So you say, hey, you got three losses, but you know, what, da da da. Those are small, minor adjustments that need to be made. We've got great film to look at. We've made some adjustments, we're gonna get better. And come on, you'll see be a better Sean Porter than we saw against Earl Smith Jr. Let's go, Terry. Last, last question, guys. Last question. You know, I don't think it's just activity. It's got to be the right activity. You know, I'm talking about fighting 180 seconds of every round, but it's got to be the right 180 seconds. You know, I can't just be active. I can't just be out there throwing punches. I got to be doing the right things at the right time. Got to be smart. God bless you guys. All right, Terry. Let's go, Terry.